All right, guys, quick tip for you today on dealing with uh, STLs, mesh bodies, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, well, maybe two things. So one, um, if you didn't know, you can actually change the preview icon for STLs. This is kind of a Windows tip. There is a program called 3D Viewer. Uh, you can get this from the Windows App Store, but essentially what you want to do is just change the open with type to 3D Viewer, and you'll get this nice preview when you're browsing around in Windows. I really like it for you know doing 3D printing and stuff, but the SOLIDWORKS tip I have for you today is like how we could actually use this, right? Because often I'll be browsing, I won't be able to find the CAD model for the purchase part that I want, but uh, you know, I could also always use this uh, STL. Uh, so if I go ahead and drop it, I think where I was confused in the past is really like how could I actually use this STL, right? I'll bring it in. I have a graphics body, but it doesn't seem like there's much that I can do. Well, you could actually apply like a material if you wanted to. This, you can apply appearance. You could go even over to the evaluate tab and um, actually I would need to make it a, a different body type, but I could actually apply a material, sorry, a, a mask to it if I wanted to as well. Um, <clears throat> but if I want to use this in the assembly, I'm going to need some faces that I can mate to, um, you know, or, you know, I could even re kind of reverse engineer this by selecting faces and making planes and stuff. But um, in the case, in this case, I wouldn't want to re-engineer. All I want to do is just extract faces. So um, we can go to our mesh modeling tools. If you don't have this, you can just right click, go to tools. There's a mesh modeling or you can just find it in the you know commands. Um, but we want to get surface from mesh here. And maybe let's start with the cylinder. And all I'm going to do is use, just use this little paintbrush here. And I'm going to select a few faces. So I just click and drag, hit OK. And then I should be able to just have it calculate that face, right? And you can see it select that. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. I hit OK. I have a surface body now. Down the bottom here, that's my cylinder. Let's get another one so I can make a coincident face. So select that again, click and drag. Oop. I need to make sure that I actually hit OK on the selection manager. That gets me all the time. Uh, then I just hit calculate to get that planar surface. And, you know, Knowing which kind of face type you want is, is really key here. You can hit OK. Now we have our two surface bodies, which means we should be able to just go ahead and save this. Okay, let's give it a new name here. Go back over to our assembly. And we should be able to go assembly, insert component, select that thing. Okay. And we could always go use our, um, change the rendering type here so that it looks a little bit better. We can just change it for that component to shaded so it looks a little bit nicer. Now you could rotate this thing around. All right, that cylindrical face that we Recognize we should be able to just mate that in place. Uh, maybe I'll just mate it to this hole here. All right. You can use those just like you would any other face. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys. STLs are actually very useful. and You can use them all over the place inside of SOLIDWORKS. So uh, have a great day.